Hello children. How are you all? How did you enjoy your EVS2 lesson? Hope you all enjoyed it. Now in the last English class, we had learned the poetry Rain in the Night. Did you learn it by heart? Not it. Come on, do it fast. Today, we are going to learn a new lesson. So, let's see the textbook. In our last English class, we had learned the poetry Rain in the Night. Today, we are going to recite it to revise. Raining, raining all night long, sometimes loud, sometimes soft, just like a song. There will be rivers in the gutters and lakes along the street. It will make our lazy kitty wash his little dirty feet. The roses will wear diamonds like kings and queens at court. But the pansies all get muddy because they are so short. I shall sail my boat tomorrow in wonderful new places. But first I shall take my watering pot and wash the pansies' faces. This poem is written by Amelia Josephine Burr. So now children, today we are going to learn another lesson. It is... Aesop's Fables. Here is Aesop. Aesop lived in Greece. So first let us read the lesson. Is Aesop's Fables. Fables are the short stories that have a moral or message for us. Now let us read the lesson children. Fables are short stories that have a moral or message for us. Something to learn and keep in mind as we grow up. Most of the fables have animal characters who think and act just like human beings. It is believed that many of the fables were first told by a wise person called Isu. Aesop lived hundreds of years ago in a country called Greece. His story became so popular that people passed them on from generation to generation. Many proverbs and sayings that we use today are based on these fables. Here are two well-known fables. Now let me explain you this children. Fables are short stories. You know, in these stories usually animals behave and talk like human beings. Now what do these animals say through these stories? They teach us some values to us and these values we should keep in mind as we grow up. Now, who told these short stories or fables? These stories were first told by a wise man called Aesop. Aesop lived in a country called Greece. He used to observe the people living in that country. Some were good and some were bad. He wanted to bring awareness among the people about their behavior. Like some used to lie, some used to uh, cheat. So how he could tell them? He started telling them in the form of stories. And even in these stories, he used the qualities of the animals to tell the people about the bad qualities and the good qualities of human beings. So people loved these stories so much they started telling to their children, grandchildren. So it went on from generation to generation. See in today's life we use so many proverbs, thoughts, sayings. So these are taken from these fables.
Today we are going to learn a fable which is a very famous one, the stag at the pool. So as and when we read, I am going to tell you the meaning of difficult words as well. One day a beautiful stag came to a pool of clear water. As he bent down to drink, he saw his own reflection in the water. What is reflection? Children, when you look into the mirror, what do you get to see? You see yourself. That is what we call reflection. He was delighted with what he saw. Delighted means he was very happy. Instead of drinking water, he kept looking at his own reflection. How handsome I look, he said to himself. Handsome is very nice. Usually, girls, we say beautiful. For boys, we say handsome. Then who is the boy here? Yes, stag. Stag is a male deer. How beautiful are these curving antlers? Antlers, what are they? Have you seen the horns growing on? The head of a bull? Yes. Antlers are the horns grown on a male deer. How they add to my beauty. How graceful they look. Graceful means beautiful. Then he moved nearer and saw his legs reflected in the pool. He was quite disgusted. Disgusted means he did not like what he saw there. Look at my legs. Ugh. They are so ugly. All spindly with small feet. Spindly means they are very long and thin. How I wish that nature had given me the legs worthy of my stately antlers. Wow, if the God had given me grand looking, beautiful looking antlers, same way, he could have given me beautiful legs too. Why has he not given me that? As he was brooding in this way, the stag heard an arrow going swish across the pool. Brooding, thinking sadly for a very long time. And swish is the sound we hear when something moves in the air very fast. Like At the same time, he picked up the scent of hunters. Means he came to know that hunters are coming to hunt him. With a quick turn, he bounded away. He started jumping and running far away from there. His legs carried him swiftly into the forest. Swiftly means very quickly. The hunters were hot on his trail. But they were no match for his speed. Hot on his trail means they were back of him. Soon the stag left the hunters far behind. Safe and out of the hunters reach, the stag slowed down. Suddenly, without realizing it, he walked into a thicket. Thicket is a place where the trees or bushes would have grown very close together. They were trees with strong branches growing close together. And alas, the same antlers of which he was so proud got caught in the thick growth. The stag tried to shake himself free, but the more he struggled, the more entangled his antlers got in the branches. Entangled means it got stuck in the branches. Once again, the stag could hear <laughs> hear the hunters drawing close and grew afraid. At last, with great difficulty, he managed to free his antlers and bounded 
away bounded means ran i realize now that my ugly feet saved my life i realize now that my ugly feet saved my life i was so proud of these handsome antlers but they would have been the cause of my death very often we dislike the very things that are most useful to us so children the moral of the story is utility utility is more important than beauty utility means use utility is important than beauty now let us learn the meaning of difficult words meaning of difficult words stag a male deer reflection an image of something we see in water or mirror delighted feeling very happy antlers horns that grow on the head of a stag graceful beautiful disgusted strong feeling of dislike brooding thinking sadly for a long time spindly very long and thin stately grand swish to move quickly in the air making a soft rushing sound bounded away to run with long jumps swiftly moving with great speed hot on his trail very close to him about to catch him thicket a large group of trees or bushes growing together entangled got caught in something now let us read the lesson once again children now you can see the stag here it's a male deer and the horn which you can see on its head they are called as antlers aesop fables fables are short stories that have a moral or message for us something to learn and keep in mind as we grow up most of the fables have animal characters who think and act just like human beings it is believed that many of the fables were first told by a wise person called aesop aesop lived hundreds of years ago in a country called greece his stories became so popular that people passed them on from generation to generation many proverbs and sayings that we use today are based on these fables here are two well known fables the stag at the pool one day a beautiful stag came to a pool of clear water as he bent down to drink he saw his own reflection in the water he was delighted with what he saw instead of drinking water he kept looking at his own reflection how handsome i look he said to himself how beautiful are these curving antlers how they add to my beauty how graceful they look then he moved nearer and saw his legs reflected in the pool he was quite disgusted look at my legs uh, they are so ugly 
all spindly with small feet. How I wish that nature had given me legs worthy of my stately antlers. As he was brooding in this way, the stag heard an arrow going swish across the pool. At the same time, he picked up the scent of hunters. With a quick turn, he bounded away. His legs carried him swiftly into the forest. The hunters were hot on his trail, but they were no match for his speed. Soon the stag left the hunters far behind. Safe and out of the hunters reach, the stag slowed down. Suddenly, without realizing it, he walked into a thicket. There were trees with strong branches growing close together. And alas, the same antlers of which he was so proud got caught in the thick growth. The stag tried to shake himself free, but the more he struggled, the more entangled his antlers got in the branches. Once again, the stag could hear the hunters drawing close and grew afraid. At last, with great difficulty, he managed to free his antlers and bounded away. I realize now that my ugly feet saved my life. I was so proud of these handsome antlers, but they would have been the cause of my death. Very often, we dislike the very things that are most useful to us. So, ch so children, you have read this story. Now, from Panchatantra, you read one more story like this and tell me the story when we get back next time. Children, make a note of this meaningful words. Some meanings are not there in the textbook. So, you better make a note of these difficult words. Meanings. Now, children, I have, we have read the lesson. Now, you read it at home. Learn the difficult words. You need to know the meaning of difficult words. So next time when we come back, we are going to learn the question answers and many other things. Till then, goodbye.